A new experiment at Sudbury Snow Lab is giving researchers from Canada and Oxford University in England a better understanding of how the universe was created. CTV's Madison Marier has that story. It takes eight minutes for a neutrino to travel from the sun to the earth, and there are millions everywhere. They're different from many particles as they don't typically interact much, but scientists in Sudbury are challenging that. We're really trying to understand what is the universe made of, what happened early in the universe, why does it look like what it looks like now? And to do that, we want to go to the smallest parts, so-called subatomic particles. And we particularly look for neutrinos and interactions with neutrinos. This particular measurement uh, used 250 days of uh, detector time uh, to see five separate events. Uh, and what, what I mean by those events is a neutrino comes in, interacts with a special carbon atom, produces a special nitrogen atom in, 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 afterwards, and uh, then uh, the, that nitrogen atom decayed. So, that's a, so this is a very, very, very rare uh, type of event. Krauss said that the detector being two kilometers underground helps decipher out materials the machine doesn't need, and some neutrinos can still navigate there themselves. This is the first time we have observed this particular interaction. So it speaks for the development of our new technology. And this would really tell us that there's something very exciting that happened as the universe was uh, <coughs> created um, because our universe exists out of matter or particles not antiparticles and we don't understand why that is in principle naively they should be created equally same amounts. Krauss said this new discovery is a team effort between researchers and so many more. And so as this gets more known I think there might be more job opportunities for people uh, it brings that way on the map um, people will read that name because our experiment is called snow plus so Sudbury Neutrino Observatory is in the name. The research is nowhere near done because in science, when one answer is found, dozens of other questions are asked when it comes to figuring out the physics of the universe. Madison Marier, CTV News, Sudbury.